Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is set to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now today, I wanted to go over Vanity Fair's exclusive coverage of, of course, The Rise of Skywalker. Thankfully, and all thanks to Vanity Fair, we got a first look at some new footage, teaser footage of, of course, the upcoming film that is all set and ready to drop by December 19th of this year. So, let's get right into it. Now, Vanity Fair opens up with a nice, beautiful wide shot here of a mysterious desert world. Now, a lot of people out there have been trying to figure out exactly where this is located. Now, today we actually just learned that this is the planet of Pasana. So it's not Tatooine, it's not Jedha, and no, it's not Jakku. It's called the planet Pasana. And there's actually a lot of desert plains and a lot of grass as well on this world. So it's going to be a very different type of Star Wars world that we haven't seen before on the big screen. So it seems like that once again, they have given us yet another desert world that is not Tatooine. But keep in mind that there are two desert worlds in Episode 9, so the other one of which may very well be the one of Tatooine toward the end of the movie. So here we can see Rey in her new outfit. She's got the spear, or should I say her staff, and she's got her lightsaber by her side. And we got one of the crew members here looking out. Everything here looks fantastic, guys. You know, we see Poe Dameron in his adventure outfit. Yes, that it's, that's actually what it's called, the adventure outfit. And here we have uh, Finn, John Boyega offset. And as we progress, you know, J.J. Abrams is talking about how this is basically the culmination of the Skywalker saga. And how there's going to be a lot of nostalgia in the film, as Daisy Ridley says in this little piece. So that's another thing to look forward to. Here's Annie. She's taking all the photographs. She is the big reason as to why we got to see the amazing photographs that we did today of the Knights, Kylo, Luke, Rey, you name it. Um, so here, you know, you can really see that this is going to be the main world set in, at least in the first and second act of Episode 9. It's basically going to be the new Jakku, if you will. So the plan of Pasana so far looks very similar to that of Tatooine and Jakku, almost as if it's a mixture between those two worlds, if you will. So as we go through here, you know, JJ keeps talking about everything related to, you know, the Skywalker saga and how this is ending all the nine movies. I want to go over this soundstage and why I believe that this all has to do with the Death Star 2 wreckage. As you can see, a lot of water is shooting up from the soundstage or from the stage itself over there behind the scenes. You can see the water pretty much raising and you can eventually see Rey, Daisy Ridley on some wire work here using her actual lightsaber that once belonged to the Skywalker family. Now, in case you guys did not see the image, just today we got an image of both Kylo Ren and Rey fighting each other in the rain on top of the same exact surface here, which looks like Death Star 2 wreckage if you guys had to ask me. And as we saw in the teaser trailer, Rey was in the same exact outfit She's pretty much, you know, just staring at the Death Star 2 wreckage and looking at it. Now, we do have flash fights in this movie, and a lot of it is going to be done in a sense where it brings us to different worlds, like Tatooine, Mustafar, you name it. So, moving past all of this, Kathleen Kennedy's talking more about the film. We get some new shots of the world of Pasana here and there with Finn on top of this horse-like creature. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to change the face of the horse, or if that's actually what it's going to look like in the movie. Uh, one thing I will say, though is that this is Janna, and she's actually rumored to be Finn's sister and or Lando Calrissian's daughter. That's the rumor right now. Uh, I think that if they bring more family elements into Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, that's always a great and healthy thing for this movie. So let's cross our fingers that she's at least connected to one of the main characters. Moving on forward, all right, we have Annie once again taking photographs and Kathleen Kennedy talking. Here's another beautiful shot of the world of Pasana in the background. And you can see that this is when they're wrapping up some of the shooting. Ray is on top of this horse-like creature. Uh, you know, it seems like that most of this footage is all based on the world of Pasana. They're really trying to make this world very known as it's going to be the main world in the first and the beginning of the second act of episode 9. So, this is actually all shot in Jordan, alright? So Jordan is a beautiful place. This was actually specifically shot over in Wadi Rum. You can see the new creatures and characters here that are native to this world. You know, it almost seems like that they are trying to base this world 
off of Abu Dhabi from what it seems like literally and trying to implement that into the Star Wars universe which is a very interesting way to do things so everything that JJ Abrams has done with this movie so far I am sold from the pictures that I saw today between Kylo and Rey and everything else so here we have a nice up close look at one of the native creatures and or species of the planet of Pasana and I gotta say I mean practical effects go a long way you know you can really see the reflection in the eye here the, the quality and the skin the skin tone everything about it how it's all done now I'm not quite sure if this is a suit or a puppet I'm sure we're gonna find out more about that later uh, here's another close look at one of them and we have Ray here as you know Daisy Ridley is as Ray talking behind the scenes Everything is looking pretty good so far with the planet Pasana. I actually like the look of it. I just wish that there was more, I guess you could say, more variations. Like more, let's say, for example, trees in the background to make it change up a little bit and make itself a little different than that of Jack Who and Tatooine. From what I can tell is that this is JJ's attempt at bringing us yet another desert world. At this point, in my point of view, this might have well as just been Tatooine in my opinion. Uh, but looking here, we have another shot of Poe and Finn in his adventure uniform. I gotta say, guys, I mean, when you look at this outfit, it looks like that Poe Dameron is literally a cowboy. And that's exactly what they're aiming for, as this movie's gonna have a lot of western tones to it, hence the desert world. So, here's another shot, you know, Oscar Isaac is talking about in this moment how, you know, he's so used to being a part of this franchise and how he's gonna miss it so much. This seems like that this was their last day of shooting, if not the last week. So moving on forward, another shot of Finn here, and we have Ray talking to JJ. Uh, toward the end, you know, we have both Finn, Poe, and Daisy Ridley as Ray together on the big screen. Now, like I say, it's almost surreal seeing all three characters together, working together as a team in this movie. It's something that you don't get to see every day in the sequel trilogy that should have been done from the very start in The Force Awakens, that they are now just doing in Episode 9. So moving on forward. John Boyega is talking more about the film. You can see a lot of the set and the crew members there in the background. And as we get toward the end, we get a couple of last shots of the planet Pasana. You can see that this is an alternate view of the image that JJ shared on Twitter a couple of months ago, just when they finished uh, and wrapped up filming. There's Annie once again taking photographs. And as we near the end of this whole entire thing, they show us the two beautiful covers of Vanity Fair. Now, I do want to mention that Vanity Fair actually teased, I believe somebody connected to Vanity Fair, teased that there is something hidden in these two photographs when you put them together, side by side, that nobody even notices, and that it's going to be very hard to figure out. And a lot of people are trying to figure out exactly what's hidden in these two photographs when you put them both together. So if you guys can get any idea of what's hidden in this photograph, when you look at both Kylo Ren and Rey side by side and imagine this as one single photo, what's actually hidden in the background or for these characters. So anyways guys, that's basically it for the new teaser footage by Vanity Fair of The Rise of Skywalker. Everything looks amazing. I cannot wait to see this movie. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.